Hi, this is Red. We want to show you an overview of a new interface we've been building for a Big Blue Button server. Call it Greenlight. So let's say you set up your own Big Blue Button server and you're not integrating it with any other like learning management system, but you just want to have a place where people can go, create meetings, invite others, manage their recordings, and just quickly and easily use Big Blue Button. That's what we've designed Greenlight for. So here I'm at the home page and it's asking me for entering a meeting name to start. I'm just going to call the meeting test meeting. And you'll see it gives two options. One is I can invite others to the meeting by just sharing this URL. So I have a button here which I can copy to the clipboard. I could also mail it to someone as well. And I can start the meeting. So let's bring over another browser. I'm going to paste in that URL that I got. I'm getting invited to this meeting and I'm just going to call my name Alex. And I'm going to click join. So that's joining. If I go back here, I'm going to also join the meeting here. It's remembering through a cookie my name, so I'm going to click join. Alex is already in the meeting. I'm joining it. If we join the audio, test, test, test. test. You are currently the only person in this conference. You are now muted. Cool. So super easy to create a meeting, invite other people. I actually have the invite URL here as well and the welcome message. I could use it and invite more people as well. When I'm done, just exit out. Take me back to the same page which I joined it. I can go back, create my own meeting, and you'll notice it's keeping a memory, again through some cookies, of the past meetings I was in. And just clicking on those is the same as typing. Those meetings though weren't recorded. If you want to do recorded meetings, you actually can log in and Greenlight can authenticate with your Google or Twitter account. So I'll just do my Google account, Red Dixon. And now, same interface as before, but now I'm going to do my test meeting. Again, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to paste it in. So let's see what happens when I join it from another browser. I'm going to join with Alex again. This time, it says that I must wait for the meeting to start. So when you have your own meetings, that's when you log in, you have your own set of meetings, uh, users can't join it until you start the meeting. And here you actually get a desktop notification when someone's waiting to join. So I know Alex is waiting. I'm going to start. This time I actually don't have to enter my name because it knows who I am. And I'm going to click join. So in the other page, what's really cool is you saw there, Ale the page just actually refreshed because I started the meeting and now Alex is joining as well. So here's Alex. Test, test, test. test. You are currently the only person in this conference. You are now muted. Cool. Same as before, I had the invite link. But now, because this is my meeting, I am a moderator and all other users are viewers. So that means I can control who's the presenter um, by default. Let's see, I have the presentation controls. I also have here the start, stop, record button. So I can mark segments of the meeting that I want to be recorded and available later on as playback. So if I start the recording, I can say, hi. Now I can respond back over here. This is a cool front end and so on. So we can hold our meeting. I could say stop recording at this point, chat a bit more. And when I'm done, I can go back, log out. So if I end the meeting, it kicks everybody else out as well. You'll notice there's a recording here. And this was a previous recording I did a few minutes ago. What's kind of interesting is it shows that the recording is unlisted. What does that mean? means if I look at what Alex sees, he doesn't see the recording. The green light front end allows you to manage your recordings where you can change the visibility. By default, any recording you make is only visible to you. That is, the recording URL is only visible. I could share that, but I could set it so that nobody can see the recording. That's nobody, even if they have the URL, can see it. Or I could show it, everyone can see it. And now if I go over here, you can see Alex can see the meeting. Of course, he can't do anything with it except play it. I have all the controls over here to change the visibility. If I go back to my main page, I can see all the past meetings that I did. These are shortcut keys. If I click on it, it's the same as typing it in. And I can see all my recordings and manage them. The last thing, Greenlight will actually send you an email as well when a recording is available. And when you're done, you can log out. That's an overview of Greenlight. It's meant to be a really simple front end to Big Blue Button where anybody can create ad hoc meetings. And if you log in, you can create meetings with recordings and you can manage the recordings as well. We hope you enjoy it. And for more information about Big Blue Button, check out these links here.